Good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here. A gentle reminder to smash the like button guys. Smash the like button. A free and easy way to support the channel. You know, give you some my strength. And as always, as always, we do appreciate the support. So today, in light of, you know, the, the JFF, you know, continuing to deliberate as to the future of our current head coach, Theodore Tapa Whitmore, right? I wanted to, to look at the arguments for and against, right? Theodore Tapa Whitmore in terms of the arguments to keep him on, to continue with him and the arguments, you know, that go against him and to do so from an objective standpoint because many of the, the viewers of this channel might be aware as to my personal opinion on the matter. But I wanted to, as best as possible, do an objective sort of, you know, just look at it from an objective standpoint, the arguments for and the arguments against. In this particular video, we will be looking at the arguments against firing Theodore Tapa Whitmore, the cons of firing Theodore Tapa Whitmore at this particular time. You know, I've been hearing, I initially was of the opinion that Everybody was on the top of our bandwagon, right? But when you listen carefully to, you know, various stakeholders in the space, right? Whether it's media, whether it's players, you know, whether it's just fans, you hear dissenting views as to, you know, the, the whole hashtag top of out, right? Um, one of the things that, and I, and I said this in a previous video, I was very surprised by Ravel's tweets. I didn't explain why. I was surprised because the, 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 the tweets were volunteered. It's not like he was being interviewed and he was asked, right? The tweets were volunteered. He volunteered his opinion on the matter that Theodore Tapa Whitmore should not go. And hence, that's a little surprising to me, given that a man like Ravel Morrison has been coached by some of the best coaches in the world, right? You know, you guys know my opinions on Tapa, so it kind of caught me a bit off guard when Rafael said that. It just baffles me why he would be on the Tapa in bandwagon. So I want to look at all the, or many rather, of the arguments that I've heard in the space for keeping Theodore Tapa Whitmore as, you know, continuing with him as the coach, right? For starters, bad timing. Bad timing. Only six games to go. We should have done it before. Many a people have said that, right? Improved performances and improved results. Many people point to that to say the team is gathering momentum. Many people point to the performance against the USA game. You know, people think that the performance and the results are improving. You know, fair point, fair point to a certain extent, right? The team is starting to gel. To be fair, you see some chemistry kind of building on and off the pitch. Yes, you still, you know, it's not, uh, you know, ideal. It, it could be better, right? The team could be more gel, but many people say, you see the team starting to gel and build a vibe, so to speak, right? The JFF makes his job difficult. That is another argument that has been put forward by naysayers of Tapa out, right? Has the JFF made his job more difficult in this current World Cup qualifying campaign? Hey, that's just one of the arguments, right? Monetary reasons, right? Buying out, buying out his contract. Right, the JFF cannot afford to buy out his contract. Also, they cannot afford to pay a better coach. That is one of the arguments, and that is a big argument. Right, good overall record. Many naysayers of Tapa out say that his overall record for coaching the national team is very good. One hundred and nineteen games played, fifty-four victories. 24 draws, 41 losses, 45 winning per cent. Also, he is the winningest coach in Jamaica's history. So many are naysayers of Tapa out. 
that's one of the many reasons that they put forward. Gold Cup final and semi-final appearances. That is a big, 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 big star on the Theodore Tupper Whitmore resume, right? Gold Cup final and semi-final appearances, including semi-final victories over Mexico 2017 and Panama 2019. People always have got to allude to that. Group stage draw in 2017 with Mexico. So in the 2017 tournament, Tapa played Mexico twice, drew once, beat them in the semifinals. People, a lot of Tapa fans and people on the Tapa in bandwagon, they're not going to let go off of that, right? First Jamaican coach to draw in the Azteca, that famous draw in the Azteca in that first World Cup qualifying game. Many people remember that and will never forget that. The first World Cup qualifying um, game of that respective campaign. Qualified for the CONCACAF Nations A League from the CONCACAF Nations B League. Many people see that as a feather in Theodore Tapa Whitmore's cap. The first Jamaican coach to get a victory over the USA. You guys remember that 2-1? You guys remember that 2-1? That is another, another feather for Theodore Tapa Whitmore. Naysayers of Tapa out will draw for that one as well, right? He beat U.S. both home and away. And two of the three overall victories that we have ever had against the United States have come with Theodore Tapa Whitmore at the wheel. So that is another, another, another feather for Theodore Tapa Whitmore. The first to beat Honduras in Honduras is the first Jamaican coach to go down to Honduras and beat Honduras. Historic achievement. That one-all draw in the summer earlier this year against Serbia in Japan. That is another feather that many fans of Tapa will draw for. Right? Brought the team into the top 50 in the world rankings. Jumped over 20 places in the FIFA World Rankings when he assumed control of the team in his second stint. That is another thing that naysayers of Tapa out will point to. Reports of the boys backing Theodore Tapa Whitmore, right? Damian Lowe, Leon Bailey and Ravel Morrison have all publicly thrown their support behind Theodore Tapa Whitmore. Ravel in particular was not asked. He volunteered his opinion and I think that is very important. That's one of the main inspirations for this video because it, it, it really surprised me. It really surprised me. He wasn't asked. He volunteered, right? Antonio seems positive. Arguably Jamaica's new poster boy, Mikel Antonio, thinks that we still have a good shot with how things stand right now of qualifying for Qatar. The boys generally seem upbeat. The reggae boys, when you look at their body language, the vibes in the camp, etc., etc., they seem to be upbeat and positive about what is taking place, right? with Theodore Tapa Whitmore at the helm. And we have heard reports, you know, anecdotal reports of, and even from official sources as well, has, say, has stated that a number of reggae boys are still behind the current head, co head coach, Theodore Tapa Whitmore, right? Another argument is that uh, the, 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 the best possible replacement for Theodore Tapa Whitmore in Paul Hall is currently employed across the pond. Paul Hall has a full-time job, the assistant coach of the national team right now. Paul Hall has a full-time job across the pond in the UK for Queen's Park Rangers. He's currently full-time employed at QPR, right? There are cases, right? There have been cases where managers have been fired Many a cases of managers being fired and the team actually performs worse. 
So naysayers have tapped out are saying there's no guarantee a new coach will perform better. A new coach might actually perform worse because there are many examples of new coaches coming in and performing worse, right? Another argument that I've heard, Theodore Tapa Whitmore has incurred bad luck. He has not been lucky. Many points to the USA game and that disallowed winner from the referee from the Costa Rican referee, right? Another argument is that the players need to step up. The players have underperformed. Many people think that the players have failed Theodore Tapa Whitmore, right? Bobby D. Cardova reads um, Sita that he missed in the USA game, right? The Costa Rican game as well. The likes of um, Boza, Boza, Mr. Sita in the Costa Rica game. There were some other sitters missed in that game as well, right? Many a people point to the fact that the boys have underperformed for the national team. Players like Liam Bailey star for club, but don't show the same form for country, right? Another argument is that a new coach will bring new ideas and it will take the team time to adjust. There is just simply not enough time for a team to get used to and for the team to get used to a new coach's idea, philosophy, etc. etc. There's just simply not enough time for the team to adjust. Right? So those are many of the arguments, right? Against the firing of current head coach Theodore Tapa Whitmore. You know, so you guys can decide what side of the fence you guys are on. I'm sure many of you prior to this video already made up your minds, but it's still good just to provide some, you know, provide both sides of the argument, so to speak, on such an important topic, right? So, guys, look out for the next video, the arguments for the firing of Theodore Tapa Whitmore. This video is focusing on the arguments against the firing of Theodore Tapa Whitmore. So guys, take care, stay safe. Remember again, gentle reminder to smash the like button, free and easy way to support the channel. And until next time, guys, take care.